I, I would say the first time I, I really started to have an appreciation for an interest in trees was at a very young age. Uh, I lived in a neighborhood in Illinois that was filled with oak trees and hickory trees and uh, we had a very large, probably 200 year old oak tree in the front of our property and I would play around the tree all the time, never thought anything of it as a, as a you know, four, five, six year old kid. But then uh, one day, probably when I was seven or eight years old, uh, the tree was struck by lightning and, and essentially destroyed, um, and it had, to, it had to be removed. And I remember thinking when that happened, um, even at seven or eight years old, what a loss that was to my life. Um, uh, it was the first time I probably looked at trees as something um, more than just a place to play. When I first uh, was about to go to college, I didn't know necessarily what I wanted to do. I just knew that I didn't want to be in an office all the time, and, and I knew that I had a love of the outdoors and of nature. And um, I originally got into natural resource management, and then uh, thankfully I had this wonderful uh, college counselor who said, you should look into urban forestry and the care of trees on, uh, for cities and, and urban spaces. And I had never heard of such a thing. I, I didn't realize that that people actually could make a career out of that. But it sounded just like uh, the perfect job for me. And uh, I gravitated my career towards urban forestry and large scale forest management at that point. And the rest is history. When you think of urban forestry, uh, Mr. T probably isn't the first thing that comes to your mind. It's an interesting story because it's interesting to think that a, uh, an inner city kid from, uh, that grew up in the projects of, of uh, Chicago could have such a lasting and important impact on the way that cities and communities uh, appreciate and, and seek to preserve trees. But Mr. T did just that uh, inadvertently. He, uh, in, in 1987, so 30 years ago this year, Mr. T uh, was at the height of his career. He uh, was a movie star and a TV star and um, uh, kind of the pinnacle of his celebrity. So much so that he was able to um, purchase a beautiful mansion in one of the most affluent communities or neighborhoods north of Chicago and he wasn't there very long before he realized that he didn't really like the forested character of his his uh, multi-acre estate and he proceeded to cut down more than a hundred uh, mature trees some of them many of them were were oak trees that had been there more than 150 years and it was that event that kind of galvanized the whole uh, community and really the, the area to say we need to do something to prevent um, uh, this kind of tragedy from happening. Trees are that important to our city. And uh, the city quickly drafted and adopted a tree protection ordinance, uh, one of the strictest and uh, first of its kind. And it's funny, it sounds like a little bit of a local story with local implications, but cities across the nation followed suit rather quickly and now today 30 years later um, uh, urban forestry programs and uh, tree protection ordinances are commonplace in municipalities that value the benefits that trees provide residents wishing to enlist the helpful services of the urban forestry program whether that's planting a new tree or caring for an existing tree can give us a call or visit our website we'll be happy to help you out